Hey everyone, this is Stan with TopEdgeServices.com and I wanted to give you my OpenCart 3.0 review. Uh, now, OpenCart 3.0 is just brand new today. I mean, they just sent me an email saying it's out and it's ready. Um, but looking at it right now, I don't think it's quite ready. So you might want to give it a few weeks, um, but I just want to kind of go through and show you what I found, see what's different about it from, uh, from OpenCart 2. And so let's first of all let's look at the uh, just the the client area the the main front end of the cart um, which looks about the same uh, I don't see too many changes here right off the bat uh, everything kind of seems about the same um, one thing that I would like to see them change is their checkout process and I, I'm I haven't actually gone there yet so let's go there together and just see how that looks and and. You know, some people do like this accordion effect, but it's been my impression from all the clients that I've helped that they don't like it. Um, the reason that OpenCart does this is because it it makes the the end user, the client, um, feel like they're not having to put as much information in, up front. But then they see all these additional steps and they really aren't, know they're going to have to anyway. So that's one thing I wish they would change is that they would just go to a single page checkout. There are some plugins on OpenCart 2 that do allow that to happen, that do allow you to go to a single page checkout rather than having this accordion thing where it opens each time you go to the next step. Um, it gives you more, you know, more things to fill out until you finally get to the end and submit it. That's the one thing I really don't like about OpenCart. And uh, anytime I've installed it, I've always gone out and found a plugin and used those to, uh, to kind of get rid of this. So, um, so first of all, first impression of the front end, it looks the same. I don't see too much changed here. Now, if you look at the back end here, this is the administration area, you might notice that it is slightly different. There, they've used some slightly different colors here. Um, if yours looks like this, then just click this and that'll open up and you can see everything here a little bit better, uh, just like on 2.0. Um, I, I did like when they went from OpenCart 1 to OpenCart 2. I really liked th what they did. Um, as far as they made some major changes. With 3.0, I don't see any huge major changes. There's a few changes is all they've really done. And so uh, let's kind of go through some of those. So one of the first changes that they've said that they've added is the marketplace. So the marketplace is kind of like if you're familiar with WordPress and you want to plug in, you just, you're, you just go inside of your admin area and you go to plugins and you just say add a new one and you search it and it finds it for you and you say activate or install and then you say activate it and it does that for you. Uh, supposedly I think that's what this is supposed to do but I don't see it working right now. I've, I've even searched for, excuse me, I've searched for uh, some test plugins uh, but I don't see any coming up. So um, I'm not able to test that. One thing I did have to do is I had to go in here and uh, create a marketplace API uh, ID. So basically you go in and you uh, input your username and your secret. Um, and I did save it. It said everything was saved, everything was good. Now when I go into it, it says it's not there. But you basically have to log into OpenCart.com. Uh, you can do that through here. Once you log into OpenCart.com, it'll take you to the page where you create the API username and secret, and you punch that in here, and then you're up and running. And so originally, you know, I did that, and it said everything was there, and I don't see it happening. So either there's a bug here, or there's no extensions that that are to be found here at all. Um, so I've I've tried looking for everything I my could think of. I even went to their site here, found that they did have one product or one plugin that does say it supports 3.0. Um, it's a $20 plugin, and I tried searching for um, subcategories as the keyword, um, and I also tried searching for display subcategories. Couldn't find either of them. So, um, and here you can see I've set up my key or my API. Uh, this is where you set it up and if I hit view you would see it so anyway so that doesn't seem to work right now or there's just not enough plugins of course today is the first day so there's probably developers out there trying to change over their uh, plugin to 3.0 but then again like I said I found one on the marketplace 
in addonpancart.com and I couldn't find it here. So maybe there's a, a bug here or somewhere, but something is, is off. So um, let me go here. I wanted to show you, this is the page that they sent me to when they said it was released. So, you know, they say you can download it. Um, they do mention that there's the marketplace here and that there's translations as well available. So let's go back. We'll go into, it says it's in the extensions. So here's the extensions. Um, I do see marketplace. I don't see translations. Um, so something's wrong there. So that's, um, you know, they do say it's under extensions right here. It says extensions. And actually it looks like, yeah, it looks like it should be right here in extensions, uh, translations. So, um, so yeah, something's missing there. Um, and they also have, uh, they basically go through right here and show you how to look for uh, plugins on the marketplace, uh, extensions on the marketplace, whatever you want to call it. Um, they do have uh, translations. Uh, well, they, they also have languages and stuff like that, and they have a language and a theme editor. Now, I was excited when I heard that they were going to have a theme editor um, because uh, a lot of times when we come into this, I end up, I install the 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 open cart for my clients so i have a client that says you know they want a shopping cart so i installed the uh i installed the the cart itself and then i go and either have them pick out a theme or i customize it to whatever they want and i was you know i always thought that would be neat if they would allow me to modify the, the look of it from inside the admin area so i don't have to download the file change it upload the file and do all that type of thing but um let me show you what they have done. So it's in, um, actually, I'm sorry, it's in design and it's theme editor right here. So you have your default theme uh, or store. You can, you know, add additional stores. So here's your theme. Uh, the, the main thing I'm really disappointed in is I don't see a CSS file anywhere that I can edit. Um, they have you changing what now is, uh, they call them twig files. Um, and they used to be TPL, I believe is what they were. Uh, I don't know if they are still that way. I haven't looked at them in, in to see if maybe they, they're just calling them twig files here or if they're, um, if that's what they actually are in through FTP. So, uh, you can go in here and change this. So say the average user wants to make a change to the account page. So they click on this and there it is. The average user is going to be scratching their head saying, I have no idea what to do here. Now, this isn't that bad if you just want to change a word. Um, but then again, if you want to change a word, then you just go into the language files and change those. So, um, you know, this isn't going to be too helpful to the average user. <laughs> it might be a little helpful for the developers, but the average user isn't a developer. And so I, I was really quite disappointed that they they did this um, I, I think if anything they should have just made it so that the average user could go in and choose styles I think they wasted all their time coming in here and making a big editor now I'm a developer so I appreciate this and as a developer I'm going to use this however the average user I, I'm afraid to turn it over to the average user because I'm afraid that my clients who I, you know, set up their website might come in here and think, oh, I can just change something really quickly here and they'll change something and they'll remove, um, you know, some of these placeholders that are meant to store information and replace it once it builds the page. They might accidentally erase something or change something that they shouldn't have and then I have to do a restore on it. So I, I'm not saying my clients are stupid, I'm saying they just don't know how to do web development. And you know, that's, they do what they do, I do what I do. And so I'm just afraid, you know, that they're going to come in here and mess that up. Uh, most of them wouldn't because they would come here and they would look at this and say, um, I don't know what I'm doing, Stan. I need you to help me on this. And so I would come in here, in here and fix it. So overall, what I'm saying is this is not useful to the average user of OpenCart. Now, had they made um, just a, a form that had color pickers, and uh, different things where you could change your font, you could change the height, things like that. That would have been awesome because the average user user could come in here and they could they could get this installed and then they could start picking colors and you know if they have some design capabilities, some design talents, they might be able to pick some good colors 
and make some good uh, theme choices and come up with something that they they feel comfortable with and that they like. That would have been a lot better. But uh, I don't think it's quite time to jump ship from Open Cart 2 to Open Cart 3 yet. Um, I wished they would have made some better changes here. It looks like they've probably gone through and done some restructuring. Let me just look at something really quickly and I'll be right back. So, okay, I'm in um, Open Cart's, uh, well, I'm in the, uh, the FTP axis of the server and I'm basically looking at the files here. And you can see that they did rename the files. So the files have all been renamed. So that means this is not going to be an easy transition to come over. Uh, it might be for the database, and uh, that might be fine. But you're not going to be able to take your theme and move it over to this very easily because the files are all changed, the name of the files. Um, I haven't taken a look at the, the deep structure of how they've set it up or anything like that. Um, you know, I, I mean, as far as the framework goes, it looks like the framework's about the same. But um, as far as if the files have different names to them or anything like that, it could be a while before we start to see some themes uh, that convert over to 3.0 and some plugins that decide to convert over because they're going to go have to go through and change all the file names and everything like that, which might not be that big of a deal. Uh, I haven't really looked into that. I have made plugins in the past for Open Cart, um, but I'm not sure really, you know, what that's going to entail here with 3.0. So this is just my early review, and right now I'm saying it's not time to jump ship. Um, I'm saying give it at least a week or a month and wait for um, wait for developers to come along and start making plugins, especially if there's a plugin that you cannot live without don't jump ship just yet you gotta wait for those plugins to be made uh, you also might need to wait for the themes to be made because as you could see from what I was showing you before the uh, the theme builder is there the template builder editor is is not ideal so anyway that's just my review uh, I still love open cart I think uh, open cart 2 is a great cart and um, if you came to me today and said you needed a cart, I would most likely recommend going to Open Cart 2. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, be sure and like this video. And if you, if you need help with your website, whether it's Open Cart or WordPress or whatever it is, be sure and look me up at topedgeservices.com. Thanks.